beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Or not such a beautiful day. Ugh, Percy, why did you put me in the cold? All the water's cold. Well, Thomas, for your information, I just saved you. Oh, okay, Percy, but I can't move, and my delivery has to go to the docks immediately ASAP. Well, don't worry. I will help you, Thomas. I'll take your load. And I will take you to the steamworks for you to be repaired. Aw, thanks, guys. Soon, the water was drowning. Thomas was back on the rails. And Percy was jolly happy than ever. Well, that does it. Okay, Thomas, let's get out of here. Soon, Thomas... James and Percy were back to Nafford Station. My, my, what happened to you, little Thomas? Well, you see, Gordon, I was trying to get a delivery done, and I took the path. Then the bridge started to fall down, and I landed in the water. Percy and James came, and they pulled me out. Wow, little Thomas, it looks like you have quite an adventure. Yes, he did. That night at Tin Mud Sheds, Thomas the Tank Engine was being examined by the workmen. Emmett was there too. Thomas, you could have drowned. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, sir. You know what? It was my fault. I should have told you not to go there. Now that place is closed and destroyed. Yes, I was fearing to go there. Me too. But it looks like little Thomas had an adventure. I agree. Luckily, his two best of friends were there. Yep, and I'm the one who did all the work. But since this is a two-segment episode, and this is only going to last for three minutes or something probably we should end this episode well how much did it cost for you to be repaired thomas it was the how much money you were made back in 1945 wait what Ooh, thomas roasted you gordon Oh, the indignity. Dun 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 dun. It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Thomas, the tank engine, was at Nafford Station with Henry. Henry was ill, so he couldn't pull the big train. Thomas was talking until Gordon came. Thomas? Yes, Henry, I think you are a good friend. You always look after me when I'm ill. Oh, you're welcome, Henry. All you need is a, a buddy with you. Say, Thomas, um, so remember St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, what about it? Me, Percy, and Emily, and Cranky will have a green club at the docks. A green club? Can I come? Sorry, Thomas, but you're not green. Well, I used to be green. Yeah, but you were green years ago. So, you have, in order for you to be with your best friend, Percy, in the green club this St. Patrick's Day, you have to be green. Well, how much does it cost for ya? I didn't ask how much it cost. I was just letting you know, that's all. Well, okay. But then, before Thomas can say anything else to Henry, Gordon came. Express coming through! Well, hello there, little Thomas. Oh, 
Hello there, Gordon. Say, what are you doing here? I'm here to pull the express. You know that. Oh, okay. Wee wee! Oh, that's not my whistle. Pretty sure it's a wonky whistle. But Tom, Tom, Thomas, I don't have a wonky whistle. Oh, really? Well, how much did it cost for you to get that whistle? But it didn't cost anything. I just got a discount at the whistle repair store. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Peep, peep. See, my whistle is just fine. It's fine as Henry's safety valve. Oh, the indignity. I just hate that engine, don't you, Henry? Actually, that's actually true, Gordon. Wait, you said that's true? Oh, the indignity! Soon, all of Gordon's passengers went on board. Where, where? Gordon, you gotta get that whistle fixed. I can't stand it. What do you mean? It's just fine. Where, where? And off Gordon went, feeling embarrassed. Golden, Golden, wait, come back! But Gordon already steamed off. Hmm. Soon Gordon was puffing down the line. He was feeling much happy of himself. But when Gordon arrived at his destination, something was wrong. Here you are! Huh? Here you are! Here is your destination! Oh, uh, what was that whistle sound? Let's get out of here! Beyond! Hey! What happened? But then Percy came. Hey, what's all the commotion about? Well, I don't know. The pa Gordon's passengers just went on to my coaches. Hmm, very suspicious. I can't believe that one engine has a terrible whistle. I know, it's so annoying. It's so annoying, I want to get out of here. Well, Gordon, I guess, um, I will see you at the station. And off Thomas went, confusedly. Yeah, me too. See you later, Gordon Aider. Meanwhile, at Napford Station, Thomas, Henry, Rebecca, James, and Percy were talking about Gordon's whistle. That whistle sound is stuck in my head and I won't get out. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Me six. Me seven. We heard it all day. But then, Gordon came. And he went to Napper Station slowly. Gordon, can you explain to us what's wrong with your whistle? Well, um, uh... I can't believe that this railway is bad. I'm going to mark it a one-star review. But when all the passengers got off with Gordon, Thomas, and Percy, they were all complaining and talking about Gordon's whistle. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. What? You mean that? Then one of the passengers found two bricks stock stocking on each other and climbed up to Gordon's boiler and we boom. Finally, that dawn whistle has stopped. Yes, finally, we don't have to hear that. Percy, it's best if you don't do it, okay? Okay. All the engines at Tin Sheds were asleep, except Tom and Gordon. Gordon, what's up with your whistle? 
I'm sorry, Thomas. It almost gave me an ear bleed. I know, Thomas. Next time, Gordon, if there's something wrong with you, go get help from Victor. Yes, Thomas. Sorry, Thomas. Maybe you'll learn one day that don't hold on to your problems. Just tell it to someone and they would help you. The end.